Hello everyone, Carmine from New York here. This is class 283, talking about the Nikon D7000. Let's go. All right, welcome back everyone. This is class 283, Carmine from New York a photographer slash photojournalist here in Manhattan since 1973. I'm giving you my 50 years of knowledge and experience and all I want in return is hit the subscribe button and give me a thumbs up. Okay, now, what the heck are we gonna talk about today? We're going to discuss this gorgeous 2010 Nikon D7000. This is an absolutely gorgeous 16.2 megapixel DSLR from Nikon. Now, throughout this video, of course, as usual, you're going to see many of the photos I took with this camera, the Nikon D7000, and the vintage. 70 to 210 Nikkor lens f4 constant Now listen to me about this lens this lens was only made from 1986 to 1988 It's an internal zoom. In other words, no matter what zoom setting you have it on, it doesn't breathe. The lens does not go in and out. It's all internal, okay? Now, there is another 70 to 210 Nikkor lens out there, but it's the F4 to 5.6. Don't buy that one. Even though it's newer, don't buy it. This F4 for constant Nikkor 70 to 210 is five times sharper than the newer one. Okay? At the end of the video, I'm going to tell you how much I paid for this lens and for this Nikon D7000. And I'm going to tip you off on how to get it at the very lowest price possible. All right, currently the Nikon D7000 sells for anywhere from 120 to 250 depending on how many shutter clicks. And this lens sells for anywhere around 75 to 150 dollars, okay, depending on its condition. Let's jump right into the specs of the Nikon D7000. I have so much to tell you about this gorgeous all metal chassis. This whole camera is all metal. It's all magnesium underneath this rubber skin. It's solid metal. Okay, in 2010, DP Review had two people review it. That was Laws Rem and Bonnie Britton. They both reviewed this camera and they both gave it the Silver Award in 2010. Why did they do it? For incredible build quality and output. From the top, let's discuss this gorgeous camera. Okay, from the top, it has a built-in gorgeous flash. It's TTL, which means the camera senses how much light the flash is putting out, reflecting off the subject, and shuts it off to give you just the right amount of light. And you know what I'm gonna say, this is an under $10 
built-in pop-up flash diffuser. You get these on Amazon, and what it does is it diffuses the pop-up flash to give you absolutely gorgeous professional portraits, all right? There's no heavy shadows when you use the pop-up flash diffuser, okay? I get these on Amazon, not a sponsor. There's no links where I get cash if you buy it. I'm here to give you information and my experience. All right, let's keep going. Of course, on top, it has a full mode dial for program, aperture priority, shutter priority, full manual. The switch over here, right, that you would go from manual focus to auto to uh, autofocus, there's a button in the middle of that. You press that in and then you rotate the wheel and that will change where your focus point, if you want single focus point, you go up, down, go back. Go right. All right, it has 39 point autofocus system. Like I mentioned before, the D7000 is 16.2 megapixels. It's a DX, right? It's an APS-C size sensor. It came out in 2010. The ISO range. 100 to 6,400. 3D focus tracking. It works great. I did it on some bird photographs. Absolutely beautiful. It takes video, 1080p HD video, and it has an external microphone jack. Uh, it uses one or two SD cards. SD card slot on the side for one uh, one SD card or two. You can have JPEGs go to one card and RAW go to the other. You can use one card for both and then as it fills up it switches over to the second card. Okay, You can have them write the same image to both cards and like I do in many of my shoots I give the client one of the cards and I say see you later. printing and the post-production work is all up to them. It cuts their costs and it cuts my time that I don't have to work on their pictures. I just take them. All right, let's keep going. Gorgeous. Rear screen, three inch screen. Okay. Check the screen out. Look at that gorgeous screen. Absolutely gorgeous. And as you change the mode dial, right, you get all your different information right at the push of the info button. All right, uh, six frames per second. Now, the battery, it uses the ENEL15 battery. And I was so shocked when I got this camera. I says, oh, I know the ENEL15. It's the same battery, my Nikon 1 V1 camera. Okay, how about this? Live view, live view, you just hit the button on the back, and you switch over to live view. What live view is, it's like using your cell phone. You can hold the camera out and you can see what you want to photograph. All right. Now, uh, the lens, right? I told you, okay? This is a kind of vintage lens made only for 18 months in 1986 to 1988. Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous lens. So the lens uses 62 millimeter filters, right? I just put on the Hoya or KNF concept uh, 62 millimeter UV filter. And this is a $5 metal lens hood. It doesn't, this lens does not come with a built-in uh, lens hood that you pop out. Uh, so you just get these, they're five bucks. I buy mine on Amazon, right? In fact, if you are a good shopper, you can find the lens hood that comes with the matching lens cap. Okay, 
This is bonus footage. I promised to tell you how I got incredible prices on this Nikon D7000 and on the 70-210 f4 lens. Here we go. If you are willing, and you should be willing, to take advantage of slight defects in equipment, you will save incredible amounts of money. This is what I'm talking about. This body, Nikon D7000, complete with battery and the charger. I bought it for $104. Here's the receipt. $104. Why? Well, two things. It had 135,000 clicks. Big deal. And the second reason is the live view button is stuck. It doesn't activate the live view. But the rear screen works. You can see your menu. You can see your photographs. Everything else. It's just the live view button. I don't use live view. I shoot through the viewfinder because I'm a professional. I don't take pictures like this. I take it right up to my eye because that's the best way to have a grip on the camera is to be close to your body. That's step number one. Oh, what store? MPB.com. Are they a sponsor? No. Did I get it for free? No. They took my money. Next. I paid $44 for this lens. $44. Why? Because it has very, very slight fungus on an internal element. Big deal. It makes no impact on the photos at all. You've seen the photos. Take it with this lens. Don't be afraid for minor defects in your equipment. 104 for a camera, 44 for a lens. Come on guys, mpb.com, they're not a sponsor, but I go there first to check out deals. And I search by price. You could search by lowest price yes, first. Right now, All right, Carmine guys. from New York saying goodbye and subscribe.